So good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing today? I know I don't have any lights on. I have somewhat of a busy day today, so I'll be able to get y'all to tag along with me. I kind of look strange right now, but anyway, I this is what I'm wearing today. I have my Michael Kors little bag on the side, and I'm headed out the door. <laughs> and of course, first is always we have our prayer this evening. Now, I don't have my gimbal. It's in the car. And so, I'm all over the place trying to lock this door. Okay. So, let me head to this car. Let me situate myself and I'll get right back with y'all. Now, I was talking to y'all and I hope that I got the rest of what I was saying before on camera. Okay, because I'll be so upset if I didn't. But anyway, I, what I was saying is a brand new day and his mercies are new every morning. Um, so, I have to get to a point where I refuse to let the enemy... Where I refuse to let Satan have me thinking bad about God or anything that is going on in my life. I am not going to think that way. I am going to be positive. This morning I'm going to be positive today. And I'm going to push forward. And, you know, the thing about it is that, you know, many of us, we don't follow through all the way sometimes we'll start and then we won't follow through all the way so then we don't really see the results um, of what we're trying to achieve so let's see let's do this so that is one of the things that I'm going to start practicing and that is being happy and um, speaking positive no matter what I see, no matter what's going on. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, let's do this. I hope everyone is having a great day. Okay. So, I guess I lost that footage. What I was saying this morning, um, right before um, I got in the car, I was trying to say to y'all that our pastor preached a couple of Sundays ago about being happy and how Christians are not happy and you know it shouldn't be that way and that we are to purpose in ourselves that we are going to be happy and so I will say that you know as the word says this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it we have to choose to rejoice and be glad because there are times when some people don't want to wake up in the morning and so I was saying that I was going to take on that challenge because we are supposed to practice um, what is being preached to us weekly. We're supposed to take that information and add that to our lives to enrich our lives and to make living, and especially living for Christ, um, more feasible. <laughs> um, and even if when it's not, we are to push forward. So. That's what I was saying, and so that's where I am this morning. And so I am going to do that. And I would encourage those of you who are part of our congregation, and even those who aren't, to do the same. You know, um, we just let to push forward, move on, speak positive, speak that which you want to manifest in your life. And that is what I've decided that I'm going to do because there's no, nothing else. There's really no other way right now. So we need to do that and just move forward. So I'm here at the church now for our daily morning prayer. That's what we do. 
and I'll get back with y'all afterwards. I do have some other stuff that I do have to do today. And I have my little friend, um, a lot of y'all know who she is, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna leave it as a surprise. And she does um, makeup. She's a little makeup artist now. And she's done a lot of makeup for weddings and, um, and you know, the brides and stuff like that. And so she wants me to come so she could do uh, makeup on me and show me a bridal look. And so I thought that was really neat. So I'm going to go and um, see what she does. And I will post that at a later time um, in the next coming weeks. And it's it's just, it's something else. But um, yeah, so I'll talk to y'all later. So that's a, a black pine uh, snake. Now I saw uh, the black mamba the other day, and it was um, it was like a bright yellow. So I was like, "Well, I thought black mambas was black." So I learned the other day that black mambas are called that because of their black tongue, and it has nothing to do with their color. But when they open their mouth, their whole inside of their mouth is black, and that's why they're called black mambas. This is a rat snake. Ooh, this one shedded. Ooh, that was a recent shed. And he's up here. He or she. It's a corn snake. Hmm. Different.
their swords, which they actually used. This is pen. Look at that fork. It's no different than today. And then more guns. It's a bust of Sam Houston. Got glasses and pin. Those are the old pins back in the day. His ring. It's a huge spoon. Here's Stephen F. Austin. It's just it's really neat to see what all our cities were named after. You know, these are the people that the There's De Zavala, and we have our elementary school, De Zavala, so and here he is. And there's Anton Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. And um, yeah, they got crushed, him and his army, real bad by the Texans. <laughs> It was bad, and they were like, we're taking your land. And you know, it really was their land, and they, Texas, the United States, fought them. And they gained a whole lot. So this is open on these days, if anybody wants to look at that. So they have programs for the summer months if you want to bring your children look at this aztec thing as you know they they did come from the indians they that that they are really the descendants of the indian people that was just mixed with the spaniards and that's why the spanish came in These are just bodies of the Mexicans that were slaughtered in that war in that battle that watch the surgical kit so it seems like um, there's Lamar in Houston Lamar Texas in Houston it seems like Texas has its own president. <laughs> well, that was when it was still independent in its own state. Before it uh, joined the United States of America. Because they were talking about sending people, because there was an interim president. And obviously, I guess the president of Texas is who that was. The dolls made from corn husk. What is that? Indian, this is the Indian stuff, the Indian things that the Indians made. And these were quil quilted patches. Hmm. It says two New York brothers helped the founding of Houston. How ironic. How ironic. 
Look at this jewelry box. And then these are the side combs that women use back in the days. And then this little purse is a coin purse. The jewelry box is just filled with all these shells. That's pretty different. This is a beaded purse. It's the purses back then. They got butter knives. And look at the coins back in the days. The back, the, the bags, the backpacks. Hammer. Before we go on the elevator, just let me sh I'm gonna show y'all these. It's John R. Harris in Harrisburg, Texas. You don't want to go up in the elevator? Brazoria County, it shows. <clears throat> it's really nice, the details. This is how some of the movies were made. They just used little things that made it seem so real, and like it was so big on the screen. This one is, uh, says the second capital at Austin. So the capital, second capital of Austin. And the horse carriage. And Steamboat House in Huntsville. It looks like a steamboat. This is in Huntsville, Texas. Steamboat House. Washington on the Brazos. And people are just sitting. on the next table. I'm trying to let all the people go into the... I don't know what's going on here. I guess people are just uh, on their merry way, walking in front of this home here. I mean, it's really neat. And I guess he's over here. Um, it says it's the first capital of Austin. And there's the Texas flag. And then this one is, um, it says Main Street in Houston. And this home here.
There's a lot of murals. Okay, so we're just waiting for the elevator. I don't see anything. Hold on. Yeah, it's quarters. What does it need? A quarter. No, you can't look that way. <laughs> yeah. You see all the little trees and stuff and all the Let me see. What do you see? You can see the world. <laughs> He's looking at everything. Well, that's good. Child, we are so far up, it is so scary. I don't know how I'm doing this myself. where we were earlier. And that's the waterway. You can even see it. And the ship used to be here. And if I'm not mistaken, the battleship used to be right there, and you were able to go. It was another attraction, though. You'd have to pay for that. And then there's this side. It is, but we did get to see through the, the thing. Through the haze. Yeah. It's like a, when it's really clear, if you're not looking at the refinery. Right. right. <laughs> it was beautiful out here before the refineries were all built. It was just unspoiled, you know. Right, yeah, that's true. It's a whole bunch of greenery. Mm -hmm. Where are y'all from? Baytown. Oh, Baytown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say about something about the mosquitoes, but you already know. Yes, believe me. <laughs> It's my first time here, though. Well, thank you for coming back. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. All right. And, oof, my ears are popping. Wow, I had to swallow just for my ears to pop. Um, let's, come, let's go this way, Gabriel, so we can exit. Oh, look at this. This is one. This is a Spanish, the um, Spaniards right here, honey. No, it's not France. Cause I looked at this and that looks really fancy. 
Yeah, that's France. His name is Rene Robert Cavalier. But Rene, that is the French all over. Let's go, Gabe. So, this was pretty interesting. Anybody who feels that they want to come see this, look at their clocks were just isn't they, they never changed, but this one is kind of different. We went to the top. Okay. So we are exiting. We got. Oh, come on. We have to find our car, <laughs> right part. This is like just an old. It's probably over here somewhere. So that was quite interesting. I mean, it was quite interesting. Um, there was a couple there and they, Gabriel couldn't see through the thing and I didn't bring it. I didn't know that they had that there. So I didn't even bring any quarters. It's my, yeah, that is my vehicle. Should we go this way? And so, um, Man, this thing is far up. Do you hear me? It was so many flights up. But we could see so far. And so they kindly gave us um, some quarters. You really don't see how long that is until you get to the top to see it. Let's go, Gabe. But it was a really, it was pretty good, pretty interesting of a museum. Are you okay? Can you make it? I like your tennis shoes. I like those. I think I like the colors, what it is. So. That's crazy. The lady asked me, there's people taking pictures in front of the museum. The lady asked me, she goes, so what, where are y'all from? I said, Baytown. She busted out laughing. She was like, oh, I guess they get tourists and people like that that come to see, you know, stuff like this. And um, I'm not going to lie. It, you have to be here in person to actually experience, to experience it because it's really it's something um to to see and to actually go to the top it was kind of like the highlight for me but it's a beautiful place. A lot of school f uh, field trips come here. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Back to the car. Hi, guys. So, I am home. So, I could go ahead and um, end this vlog here. So, we had a full day at the two museums we went to two museums and um it was um it was pretty good uh gabriel was um i mean he he was really into both museums it was very interesting i was shocked that he was because it was more of a historical 
um, museum and had a lot of writing stuff. So he wanted me to read, so I read. <laughs> a lot of information, I read it to him and stuff because he wanted to know about the pictures and the generals and all that stuff. He was fascinated with the different, you know, the old time um, guns and stuff and all that stuff. So, but it was good. And so I'm going to end this vlog here. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to y'all later.